They weren't just engines, they were Alfa Romeo's promise to the world. The twin spark engines were built to honor a racing legacy and carry it into the future. A perfect blend of heritage and innovation, on paper. But beneath the surface of this engineering pride was a problem no one wanted to admit. How did Alpha's symbol of progress turn into a ticking time bomb? Let's uncover the shocking truth behind the twin spark engines. So, what was it that made these engines so important? Well, by the late 80s, as the new era began, Alfa Romeo started to lose its hold on the industry. The brand was no longer a racing powerhouse feared by the competition and considered one of the best in the game. The world had witnessed the capabilities of this insane brand, but the brand was no longer what it used to be. After dominating the game with insane engines in the 6C, 8C, and Tippo 33, the business was in a bit of trouble. The brand began facing financial instability due to poor management, inefficiency, chronic losses, and a lack of modernization. The business was experiencing declining sales, and they were struggling with development. The models they had in the market were also outdated. While most companies had moved towards more advanced features, Alfa Romeo's vehicles were struggling to meet the demand of the market due to ancient features that just could not compete with the well-engineered vehicles coming into the market in this new era. The new engines were delivering fuel efficiency, enhanced safety, and cleaner engines, while Alfa Romeo was putting out the same cars it had been producing since the 70s. The brand was taking severe damage to its reputation at this time. Alfa Romeo had now understood that if they wanted to stay competitive in the market, it would have to up its game. And so the infamous twin spark engines entered the story. But the situation was not that simple. Alfa Romeo was still struggling with its finances, and research and development were not in any way cheap. The company had to find a way to enter the market with something new while staying within budget. They had to improve fuel economy while maintaining performance, using the engine blocks they already had to cut costs. It was not going to be an easy process in any way. Alfa Romeo utilized the iron engine blocks from their older variants to develop a modern aluminum twin cam cylinder head featuring dual spark plugs, improved valve timing, and enhanced breathing. This allowed Alfa Romeo to offer technological enhancements to their customers without engineering a brand new engine from scratch. Instead of turbochargers, the brand decided to focus on naturally aspirated engines, as the turbos would have been expensive and weren't very reliable at the time either. For this, the brand used high compression ratios, which increased the thermal efficiency, engine responsiveness, and power output. The typical compression ratios between 10 3 1 and 10 5 1. This was optimized for twin plug combustion, which reduced the likelihood of knocking due to the quicker and more complete burn. This allowed the engines to compensate for the lack of a turbocharger. The twin spark plugs were the secret weapon Alfa Romeo chose to use, making it possible for these engines to compete against turbocharged engines. In this system, two spark plugs were placed on one cylinder, one in the center and the other on the side. In the wasted spark configuration being used, both spark plugs were required to fire simultaneously, even on the exhaust stroke. The twin spark plugs were crucial for these engines to maintain high compression, allowing the naturally aspirated engines to preserve their rev-happy and responsive nature without the need for turbos. Along with this, this system is what allowed the engines to meet the strict emissions regulations. The engines were also equipped with aggressive camshaft profiles tuned for high revving performance. They used the DOHC layout for enhanced breathing capacity at high RPMs, which allowed the vehicles the potential to produce higher horsepower. A camshaft variator was used in these engines to adjust valve timing according to RPM, providing the car with better low speed response without sacrificing the high end power of the engine. Alfa Romeo was putting in a good amount of effort in building these engines to make up for the lack of budget needed, and it was apparent. Fiat had acquired the business, and to maintain its own identity, 
Alfa Romeo needed to preserve the Italian sporty feel in its cars. The twin spark engines not only helped the company maintain its brand image, but they also provided journalists and advertisers with a unique point of differentiation, setting Alfa Romeo apart from the crowd. The brand aimed to regain its former position in the market. Once these engines were developed, the brand had hope. They believed these engines would guide the company back to the top. But reality often differs from our plans. The rich history of Alfa Romeo in the racing industry played a significant role in regaining the brand's reliability. The company had been using twin spark engines in races throughout the past. In 1914, the Alfa Grand Prix car was equipped with this system for better combustion. Later in the 1930s, dual ignition was used in legendary cars like the 8C2300 for enhanced performance and reliability. Alfa Romeo cleverly revived the twin spark name, tying it to their road cars and their legendary racing heritage to capture the market. In 1985, Alfa Romeo began producing cars with Fiat. The chassis was constructed with Fiat's scale of economy for parts and architecture. But the engines were Alfa Romeo's own. The brand released numerous cars to the market during this era, starting with the Alfa Romeo 75, renowned for its balance and mechanical purity. This car introduced the mighty twin spark system to the general public for the first time. This is the car that helped the struggling Alfa Romeo pull through the 1980s. Then came the Alfa Romeo 155, which offered front-wheel drive and had twin spark engines to provide a sporty feel to customers. This is the car that paved the way for Alfa Romeo to enter the front-wheel drive segment as well. The most appreciated work of the era was the legendary Alfa Romeo 156, this car brought twin spark engines a lot of fame. It was considered the peak of the TS engines. The chassis was terrific, the design was exceptionally sleek, and the engines were lively as ever. The stylish car was well received and proved to be a tremendous success for Alfa Romeo. These cars produced 155 horsepower at 6400 RPM, with the potential to scream at RPMs as high as 7000. With a top speed of around 133 miles per hour, these monsters were highly competitive in the late 90s. But nothing is ever all rainbows and roses, is it? These beasts had flaws of their own, and these flaws were not very easy to push under the rug. Soon after these cars began hitting the roads, an issue started coming up. These were interference engines. If the timing belt broke, the pistons would slam into the open valves. This would risk a complete engine failure. There are many instances of total timing belt failures. The company had advised replacing the belts every 100,000 kilometers. However, these belts were unable to survive that long. The cheap tensioners and poor quality aftermarket parts only made the situation worse. The risks were enormous, with the chance of total engine failure. This led the company to advise on changes and replacements earlier. This is what gave these bad boys the name Ticking Time Bomb. The camshaft variator had issues of its own as well. The variator would wear out internally due to the oil contamination and poor oil quality. What made this issue even worse was the fact that the problem went ignored until it became loud enough to be ignored no longer. The problem caused reduced performance and poor fuel economy. Overheating was another common problem with these engines especially in hotter temperatures, cracked thermostat housings, failing radiators, and weak water pumps were also issues that were emerging. The cheap plastic parts the company had been using to cut costs were what caused these issues. These issues were no joke as they led to warped heads and blown out gaskets. An issue that became a big problem was the oil consumption of these beasts. The twin spark engines were known to burn oil quickly. Most owners were not used to changing their car oil so often. This led to the oil starvation of the engines. Engines ran dry while the owners had no idea what was happening to their car. This problem led to even larger issues such as bearing failure, cam wear, and crank damage. These were total engine killers, weakening the engines and pushing them to premature failure. 
These issues with these engines were complex. They were not just any other engines, they were amazing no doubt. However, the flaws were too glaring to ignore. Most of these issues were not even bad design, but the circumstances made them into larger issues with time. The problems with these engines could have been taken care of, but it was the lack of communication between the brand and the customers that made these engines a tough choice. Yet despite the engine's flaws, these models changed Alfa Romeo's market position and brought the brand back into the race. These engines had a cult following of their own. They were deeply loved by many. Many owners claimed they felt an emotional bond with these engines, primarily due to the connection between the engine and motorsports technology. Their eagerness to rev heavily and the sound and feel these monsters provided the drivers with. These engines gave a new perspective to the entire automotive industry. But these bad boys were not eternal. With the introduction of newer emissions regulations, a lack of fuel efficiency, and the newer and better cars entering the market every day, these engines became too expensive to maintain. Alfa Romeo knew they had to let go of these beasts. The ticking time bombs were simply replaced with more advanced engines. The legendary engines that saved Alfa Romeo from losing itself completely were retired with dignity, leaving a beautiful legacy behind. The ticking time bombs changed the history of Alfa Romeo and left a significant mark on the automobile industry. The story of this incredible engine is something that will never be forgotten. For more stories like these, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts on these beasts in the comments below. See you soon!